and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we did a thing. There's no 1720 back there in tow. Y'all yeah, stay tuned. All right, boys and girls, here it is. 2021 Sportsman 214 SBX Tournament. It's got a 150 Yamaha gray on the back. Some trim tabs. Got a nine inch in dash. Swim platform. Nice trailer. Let's get this thing on the water, guys. Let's go. All right, guys, we're out here on the water. Got my lovely bride with me. So I'm gonna take a minute and go over this boat, kind of show you guys some of the features and kind of point out some stuff that I like, things I don't like. There's not many I don't like. But uh, let's start, let's get started on the front here. So as you can see, it's got a huge casting deck, um, plenty of room for two anglers. It's very stable. Um, you can fish up there, no problem, walk around, plenty of room. Um, we have rod lockers on both sides with lift assist, uh, gas shocks. I really like that. They're stainless, good hardware. You can hold five rods on each side. There's plenty of room inside. I'll show you a little bit on the other side. Got gasket seals to keep everything nice and dry and sealed, good hatches. Um, hold on just a second here. We'll go to the other side. See a little better what's kind of going on here. So, got your rod, your rod storage inside here. Plenty of room to put rods. Um, it'll hold up to seven foot six if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it's it's a seven foot six is the biggest that you can put in there, which is to me that's mostly what I fish with anyway. So that's plenty. Um, got a big dry storage box here. Plenty of room in there. I keep my bumpers, ropes, stuff like that in there. So there's plenty of plenty of storage in there to put whatever, purses, whatever. Um, this little box here is basically like, I, I, I believe it's like starboard. It kind of feels like a cutting board almost, but it's got a built-in ruler on it. Um, so you can lay fish there, kind of measure them out. It's got the Sportsman logo on it. Yeah, um, it's not real, it's not a real big storage. It's kind of small, honestly. Um, I put bags and stuff in there, tackle. Sometimes I throw trash in there. It does have a drain in there. Like if you wanted to put ice, drinks, whatever, I guess you could do that. Um, moving forward, we got a big rocker. Rocker. We got a big um, anchor locker. Uh, my anchor is currently at home. I'm waiting on some chain to come in, so I actually have it out of the boat. I got an anchor and 200 foot of rope, but plenty of room to put your anchor. You have your trolling motor hook up your cleat to tie off your anchor and all that good stuff so nice and tucked out of the way sorry it's hard to do with one hand anyway um 36 volt i pilot i opted for that because i do fish more than i do anything else um and i like to have the extra power on hand some guys do run the 80 pound tarova which i'm sure in some instances would be fine i like to be a little over kill on my trolling motors because i'd rather have it not need it than need it and not have it basically so love the ipod tarova that's my trolling motor of choice all right moving on down we got cup holders cup holders are all over the boat pop-up cleats i have four jl audio those are six and a halves i believe i have four of those those things sound amazing pricey very expensive but they sound great no complaints there Moving forward, we got the bait live well. This is a plumb live well, um, so you can put shrimp, bait in there if you want to. As you can see right now, I'm using it for storage, um, but you can kind of use it for whatever. It's, it's insulated, so you can use it for a cooler, you can use it for bait, whatever. Um, I really like the way that Sportsman does their seats. I like the gray, I like the diamond stitch, and just kind of had something a little different. I do like that about it all right so here's how we get to all the access to all our components um, i have five batteries total um, i have three for the 36 volt trolling motor i have two cranking batteries and i have two onboard chargers uh, the Minn Kota digital is for the trolling motor the dual pro is for my cranking batteries i have a battery cutoff switch um, all my wiring is labeled uh, fuses on everything so if anything ever happens it's real easy to get to I have some spare stuff in there to uh, just make things easier um, if, if I ever have a problem to figure out kind of what's going on for troubleshooting but as you can see the, the wiring is pretty neat for you know a production boat of this tier level so um, pretty happy way the wiring is on this boat so 
moving on we got uh we got rod holders on each side of the boat three on each side um this is one of the plug-in battery chargers so you can just throw your cinch cord over in there i have another one in here this is just a little little seal dry box but i have another cord in there let's lower that down plug my other batteries in there um console is laid out nice i have the jail audio uh media master 50 i love that thing thing sweet here again it's pricey but you get what you pay for when it comes to radios um this is not the true tournament this is the sbx tournament which is basically like the budget i guess the more budget friendly uh, model of the tournament the full tournament the, the regular tournament comes with a full acrylic dash here um, it comes with digital gauges and a bigger garmin to me um you know as much as i would like those features they are nice i like i like the way they do it it is a nice upgrade but to me it just wasn't worth the extra eight thousand dollars to get the true tournament um, when the hole and pretty much layout is exactly the same the only thing that you get um, you get like I said you get your digital gauges you get some more switches you get a bigger Garmin and you get this live well over here plumbed so basically I have three live wells total if I want to make this one a live well I have to plumb it so the so this boat technically only has two because it is the SBX but I have a 20 gallon over here um, which has been plenty big enough to put reds and stuff in there like that i am going to plumb this over here it's the same size same kind of layout i am going to plumb that um, in the future just so i will have more room because um, i do fish a lot of tournaments just to have the room to keep the fish alive obviously we have a self belling floor deck no water's coming in they got good scuppers uh, I do like the way that their drains are. One of the things that Sportsman kind of prides themselves on is their drains drain outside the boat. So, you know, it's, it's hard to tell inside the boat. But all of these don't drain to the village. Everything drains outside. Um, the rod locker, the dry boxes, everything that's plumbed outside drains overboard. So you don't have all that water running inside. So I do like that. It's one of the features I do like. I know there were some people saying that they have water come up in theirs mine does not um, i don't know if that was something on the earlier models where they had issues but i've had no issues there yamaha gray f-150 one of my favorite motors it's tested it's proven very reliable that's kind of why i opted for that uh, very very good uh, mounting hardware i like the way everything's plumb c star hydraulic steering everything's nice and plumb the way it's supposed to nice um boarding ladder for when you want to jump out of the boat pop-up cleats all the way around more cup holders um, here is the coast guard specs to kind of show you kind of what some of the specs are on the boat now talking about the motor um the f-150 i opted for the f-150 just because the boat's rated for max horsepower as a 200 um, I opted for the F-150 for the simple reason that I wanted to have reliability and I was not willing to pay $4,000 for the 200 horsepower upgrade and it gives you two to three mile an hour. Um, just for me, it just wasn't worth the price. Now, if you step up to the VMAX series and get a 200 show, yes, you will have more power, but that's a totally different block, totally different programming. Um, it's just a lot stronger motor. The F-200 is a weak 200. Um, it's kind of been known across the industry for years and the f-150 is actually a strong 150 so it actually puts out more power I, I think some people say it's like 162 horsepower is actually what the f-150 puts out and the 200 is more like 184 to 185 horsepower when they actually put them on the dyno so that's the reason why there's just not enough spread if if speed was the name of the game for me i would have definitely ponied up and bought the v-max show um, it's definitely a, a bigger cost over the F-150, but you do get more performance out of it. Um, this boat tournament loaded, everything it's got, the best I've seen with it is 47 miles an hour. Um, that's that skint back, everything it's got. To me, that's enough. That's plenty for me. Um, the guys I've talked to with the F-200 are getting somewhere between 47 to 49. So like I said, not a huge difference there. Um, the V-6 shows... They're going to get somewhere between, most of the ones I've talked to get anywhere from 50, I've heard all the way up to 55 miles an hour. So if you're definitely looking for speed, that's the way to go on that. Now, one of the features that me and my wife like a lot, this is her favorite feature and I'm going to show you what my favorite feature is. So 
we call this the love seat um, my wife's kind of short so she can actually lay across this thing lay out um, sit here you know it's got plenty of room for two people um, I like it a little better than the jump seats on the on the outside, you know, which is what traditionally what bay boats come with. I like this because it's a little it's a little different, you know, change it up a little bit. But you know, you get back here. I like that's in the center. You can put you know your rod right here in one of these rocket launchers or whatever, one of these rod holders, and you can tie up, you know, do stuff like that. And you got somewhere to sit while you're retying. Have somewhere to hold your rod so you can work with two hands. So I like that. Um, plenty of room. Makes you feel like you're inside of the boat instead of outside. The only drawback to this seat and the only thing that kind of does suck a little bit is you are looking at the back of this you know when you're looking forward so you kind of got to look out to the side but not a big deal but my favorite feature of the boat and one of the things that really made me want to go with this boat i don't care what you got it can be a pathfinder tide water uh you know carolina skiff uh key west anybody anybody everglades anybody you are going to have to work on your boat eventually and this gives me access i'm a bigger guy i'm 6'2 235 pounds so i'm a big dude so getting in those little those little circle cutouts that they normally give you or the little oval hatches just ain't for me i can't get in there and work on that stuff and i need to be able to work on stuff you know if i can't get to the dealer and stuff and i need to fix i need to see what's going on this makes me able to get in there plus it gives me a lot more storage uh, I keep my life jacket in here, got a throwable. I normally keep a bucket in here uh, with a um, cast net in it, fuel water separator. But as you can see, the hardware is really good in here. Everything's easy to get to, accessible. I love this feature. Sealed gasket here again. You know, just just a good build, man. Just I have no I have no bad to say about this boat. Um, like I said, the only thing that that if I have a con to say to this boat is is it's not it's not known for speed it's just not um, the tournaments are not known for their speed basically they're they're made to really get out of the hole the hole the way that they have it is made to jump out of the hole and it does it gets on plane really fast uh, i have zero issue getting on plane really quick and that's what it's made for to get in shallow water these boats draft about 10 inches um, so they're made to jump out of the hole that said the the hole is not made for speed so like I said, I gave you the numbers of kind of what they're running. So some some of the bay boats are a little faster. I know I was looking really hard at the 210 Bay Reef Key West. And what I was seeing with those is, you know, they're with the F-150. Some guys were running 50 miles an hour with those. So, you know, a little bit better hole as far as speed. But, you know, I never did get to really test one like I wanted to. I, I really wanted a Key West. But the build dates were so far out and i just couldn't get them and i was crunched for time so that's how i ended up with a sportsman but i'm glad i did i have no regrets i love the boat i'm, I'm totally happy with everything with it the ride on it is a second to nobody the sportsmen are known for the way they ride and I, I i gotta admit man this thing rides amazing it rides really really well in chop it has a very very soft entry um no issues man i, I have no issues um so guys i hope uh i hope that this uh answers all your questions um if you have any please leave them in the comment section below i'd be glad to kind of go over anything with you guys and um, um if you got any value hit the like button subscribe we always appreciate it guys always comment and uh guys if uh, you're in the market give one of these sportsmen a hard look man they're, they're hard to beat you know um one other thing while i'm thinking about it is it does have the trim tabs on it um, honestly i don't even have to use them um i want them I, I would always opt for a boat to have trim tabs after having a couple of boats with trim tabs i'll never have i'll never not have them um they're good to have especially when we need to put stuff down and chop guys again i'm sorry for the wind um but these here I, I like the switch panel on these because if you forget like when you get ready to dock the boat and you forget as soon as you turn the key off or turn it back on automatically the the trim tabs automatic you know auto retract so i like that feature a lot but honestly if if you can't pony up the money and you can't pony up the money and get the trim tabs i don't necessarily say that you have to have them for this boat because honestly i don't use them much at all um but it is nice to have in the event that you do the boat like i said the boat rides really well it's very level and uh, i have no complaints so guys until next time we appreciate it Tight lines, fellas.